What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back with some more Tai Chi Panda heroes and today I want to look at probably one of the most used heroes that is going to be very popular in Tai Chi Panda heroes. And that of course is Boric. Now Boric is easily, easily obtained through PvP. Uh, you can go to the Fortitude tab, click on PvP and you can find him here in the PvP store. 10 charge to summon him. We already have him, so let's take a look at him. Let me go in here and we will make him the main hero. And let's take a look at his skills. Uh, his very first skill is Boric's Charge. It restores rage and stuns the target for one second. Now, if you miss the target, it restores hit points. So that is pretty cool. Uh, brutalizes the second skill, sprints forward and deals damage. Now that is a two part skill. Uh, the second part is a little different. The third one is Borg's Rage. It increases attack and brutalizes effects for 10 seconds. Now this is basically like the transformation for Borg. So it's pretty cool, but it doesn't last as long. It only lasts 10 seconds. And the rare skill is Thunderous Resilience. Deals damage to nearby targets, recovers 1% of hit points per second and increases damage done by up to 30%. Effect increases along with skill level, max HP recovery per second 3.6%, max damage buff 108%. So that's a nice buff that we're going to get from having him in the sidekick slot. Uh, we'll look at that in just a little bit. But let's take him out. I'm right here by the Snowlands. So let's take him out here and uh, test out his abilities and I'll show you exactly what he's capable of doing. Now his first ability. Let's see here, we should have some stuff right here. Level 42, okay. So his first ability is gonna charge and it's gonna slam into the ground and knock him down and stun him. So he does quite a bit of damage doing that. And like it said, let me take some damage and I'll show you. If you miss, let's see, get some damage taken. Come on, hey guys, right here. Come on, there we go. All right, let's get some damage taken and I'll show you if you miss with that ability, it heals you for 11,580 at my current level. So it's probably going to be a percentage based or something like that on your hit points. The second ability, it doesn't really charge from what I've seen. It just stands there and does that. But if you actually hit something with it and it doesn't die, it should have a second ability that pops up. I'm not sure when it does come up, but it does on more or less of major boss fights and stuff like that is when you actually see it. Now we're gonna have to get our rage up, which you can see right below my health bar, there's a rage meter. Uh, once you attack stuff, it slowly builds up. And once you get to a thousand on your rage meter, you see the third ability becomes active. And that's the transformation that actually pretty much makes you go crazy and do some insane amounts of damage. You see, I got it bigger. And I'm going to be able to do more damage during this and it's going to heal me. See, here's the second part for that. And it's just another move like that that does damage or smacks you to the ground. Uh, it's real odd the way it works because it's not consistent or it doesn't seem consistent. It just randomly happens. Uh, I'm not sure what actually makes it happen. Uh, but those are the skills. Bort, pretty good damage dealing character. Uh, let's go back out here and swap around and I will show you his rare skill and what it does when you're on another character and you have him as your sidekick. Alright, we're back swapped over to Striker. We have Bork in our sidekick slot and let's see exactly what his rare skill does. If you hold it down, it'll actually show you the range of it and where it deals the damage and it tells you exactly what it does. You still move around. And if you get him in the range, let's use it. It does damage to him and watch. I just grew exponentially and now I'm gonna do some crazy damage. It's an awesome ability uh, and with a cooldown of three minutes, it's not too, too bad. Uh, mainly safe for boss fights and of course in PVP when you start losing hit points or just wanna do that extra crazy damage, go ahead and hit that rare skill and you can take very much advantage of that skill. Now, since we're in it, and Bork is probably going to be one of the best or top used characters for PvP, 
uh, let me swap over to him and we'll actually go do a arena and see exactly what he can do in PvP. Now, let's see, someone close to our level, maybe, so it'll be kind of a fair fight. Well, he's, I'm two levels up on him, but that's okay. But we're going to see exactly what Bork's able to do. Going to stop, let him get a little closer, and then charge in. And he does a lot of damage. That's crazy. Took the person down that fast. Bork is a high damage output character. Uh, if you look right here, he is actually under, let's see, he's not. He's under the physical tab, so you see there are one, two, three, four, five, six physical characters. Bork is one of those six. He does massive amounts of damage, and he is a very well-rounded hero. Looks pretty awesome as well once you throw wings on him, and of course, we can't wait till some outfits come back out. That way I'm able to get them, because I'm probably going to throw an outfit on him. As you can see... Let's see, no, I was actually in the right place. Go back in here and you can actually take a look at what outfits are gonna look like. Go to the preview tab. That changes his fist weapon to a dragon face. That's pretty cool. And this one here, more of a golden shoulder pad. He looks a little bit darker in this one. Hair change as well. And these are his other ones that you can get. So outfits do change the appearance of the characters, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to getting a hold of those. But this is Bork, guys. Let me know what you think about Bork in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave me a big fat like. Keep it logged right here, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.